All right, y'all. It's early morning. It's about 6.20 in the morning. We got 6.30 sunrise, so we're like right at the tail end of first light. We're gonna do a couple firsts this morning. First on a bait caster that was sent to me by my buddy Mullins. I appreciate you, buddy. And we got a uh, Chapo 90 in a ghost white color, also sent by my buddy Mullins, which I do appreciate you. So stick around and find out because we're starting right now. All right, so to open up a little bit for you guys this morning, like I said, it's right before sunrise. So we're out here early at one of our favorite bank fishing spots. We're gonna try and catch a fish up close to the bank with our Chapo 90, which is like a whopper plopper, it's top water. So hopefully there's something tucked up near the bank. We've got about a four knot southwest wind which ain't particularly in our favor, but we're gonna try to catch something anyway. It's our first time throwing our bait caster. We've got a St. Croix medium heavy power rod paired up with a Quantum Team KBD bait caster. And this has got uh, six to three to one gear ratio. And then on that, we've got our Ghost White Chapo 90 tied onto it, straight braid. To the to the uh, to the chopo. So I'm gonna throw you on the GoPro, and we're gonna see what happens. Here we go. All right, y'all. So like I say, this is my first time throwing anything on a bait caster. So uh, we're gonna take it slow to get started, because we don't want nothing birds nesting on us on our first time out. So what I did here was I set my tension knob, which is right here on the right side, to make sure the lure falls at a comfortable rate and stops when it hits the ground. So that's where we want our uh, tension to be set up, just getting started. So we're gonna throw this thing around a little bit, see what we can find here. Now, if we catch something, y'all are gonna be the first to see my first catch on a bait caster. And moreover, with a Chapo 90. And we birds nested on the first cast. See, that happens. That's why you got to get out and do these things, y'all. So let's correct that a little bit here. All right, looks like we got it figured out. Got a bite. Did y'all see that? Something jumped up on it. Was it the third cast? All right, we got that one a little farther. Let's try nice and slow here. Nice and slow. And the only way to get better at something is to do it. As you can see, I'm already struggling here. But that's all right. You gotta get these little growing pains out before you can do anything cool. You know what I mean? That gum, I got it all wrapped up here. All right, let's try this again. Long sweeping casts. Ooh, that was a nice one. Got real far out there. We're gonna let that thing sit and let the ripples dissolve a little bit. And we're just gonna creep it on back. I don't 
don't want to spook nothing. Daggone it, I put it in the grass. good thing about this medium heavy power is I can just rip it right through that grass when I throw it on the bank on accident. If you've ever thrown a lure on the bank by accident, let me know. So not only myself, but other people can see that it does happen. We ain't the only ones out here throwing lures on the bank. Doggone it. I'll tell you what, you'll spend more time undoing these lures when you're first starting bait casting than uh, actually casting. That was a good one there, y'all. Something's got it. Something's got it. Feels like snake it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do we got here, y'all? He's pulling it right off. He's strong, whatever he is. That's got to be a snakehead. Yep. And sure enough. Oh, yeah. Snakehead on the chopper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let him calm down a little bit here. Well, we got our first fish on the Chapo on our bait caster. I wish it could be something different than a snakehead. I really do. But we're going to take it for what it's worth. And we're going to get them released here. Chill out, buddy. I'm trying to help you. Making it worse for yourself here. All right, now that we got him unhooked, we are not going to let him go until we get a picture with him. That is an ugly son of a gun. We done did it, y'all. First fish we caught on the baitcaster with the Chapo 90. It's a nice big old snakehead. So we're gonna toss him back because we ain't gonna eat him this time. But uh, it works and we're getting better at it. So keep at it is the moral of the story because we were struggling in the beginning. So here he goes, watch his release. All right, so that's a big old boy. If you ain't never caught a snakehead before, they get pretty big. So we're gonna just let him back. 
right back into the water. And that's all there is to that. And it's starting to sprinkle on us. And we've got some other stuff we got to do. So, for the time being, we're going to call that one quits. And we're going to head on back. Well, y'all, we done did it. We caught a fish on our bait caster using a Chapo 90. So that's two different firsts for us here at Navi Outdoors. Number one, catching them on the bait caster. Again, I appreciate my friend Mullins for uh, hooking me up with that sweet gear. And the Chapo that he also sent me. So thank you, sir. And uh, it's all about breaking down the barriers, y'all. You ain't gonna know it unless you throw it. So get out there, do something, throw something you ain't used to, and see what happens, because it will pay off for you. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. God bless. Navi is out. <laughs>